Hello, this video is about how to install Lubuntu in VirtualBox. Lubuntu is a lightweight desktop environment that's based on Ubuntu. Underneath everything is Ubuntu, but it doesn't use the Unity desktop. It used the LXDE desktop. This is the same desktop that's used in Raspberry Pi. The outcomes for this video would be to download Lubuntu. I'm going to use a 32-bit version. Create a Lubuntu guest in VirtualBox. Install Lubuntu. Update Lubuntu, install DKMS, and install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Now DKMS is necessary for certain VirtualBox host kernel modules such as VBox DRV, VBox Net FLT, and VBox Net ADP. And I found that if I do not install DKMS, I have a little trouble getting VirtualBox Guest Editions installed. So I find that VirtualBox Guest Editions installs much easier once I've installed DKMS. Requirements. VirtualBox installed on a host computer with an extra 512 megabytes of memory to run the Lubuntu guest computer and an internet connection. Additional info. This is the Lubuntu site and then there's a Lubuntu team wiki at ubuntu.com. I've got disclaimer. And basically, it's while research is material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out. So I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here's the Lubuntu homepage, lubuntu.net. Lightweight desktop based on Ubuntu. Go down through here and you can see what it is. Features, improvements system requirements, known issues, gives you a little help on the installation, graphics and display, applications, etc. And then you can go to Lubuntu blog, and then there's Planet Lubuntu. Let's download Lubuntu, and I'm going to download Lubuntu 32-bit Intel x86, and you can also download through Torrent, but you need a that torrent installed on your uh, computer and then they've got download Lubuntu 64-bit and also for the Mac. I'm going to download a 32-bit desktop. Just simply click right here. It says save file. Click OK. Got a directory here downloads Lubuntu with the 64-bit here. I'm going to download 32-bit i386 for an install in VirtualBox. Click save. And if you look right here, it says two hours. So I've probably got a real slow connection here. I'm not going to have the video run for two hours. We'll come back when it's downloaded. Here I have about 10, 9 seconds remaining. A few seconds remaining. So it's taken me about two hours to download Lubuntu 13.10. Check and see. Here it is. The next step will be to create a virtual guest for the install of this 32-bit version of Lubuntu. Lubuntu is basically Ubuntu with a lightweight desktop environment installed. So in order to create a virtual guest for Lubuntu, I'm going to use the Ubuntu settings. So let's go to here for new and give it a name and call it Lubuntu since we do I downloaded Saucy Salamander 13.10 Lubuntu, we'll call it SS, and it's Linux and Ubuntu, and I downloaded 32-bit versions, but if you want the 64-bit version, right there it is. So we set the as Ubuntu as the operating system, and Lubuntu should fit into this. Click Next, 512 megabytes, that would work. Next, create a virtual hard drive. Next next. I'm going to make sure it's dynamically allocated. Fixed size is quicker, but dynamically allocated is easier on your hard drive. Click next. I'm going to change this to 20 gigabytes. I just use 20 gigabytes as a sample size for my virtual machines. And I don't create a different folder or anything. I just leave the standard setting. Click create. I've got this system set up. Now, one thing I want to point out here is display 
I don't need to enable 3D acceleration like I would for an Ubuntu machine. And I'll just leave the video memory and everything as a default. Click OK. But in storage, I've got to go find the ISO file, that 32-bit Ubuntu disk I've downloaded. Click on Empty here. And now I'm going to go to find where I download Lubuntu. And in my case, it's computer local disk downloads Lubuntu. And 32-bit is I386. Open. Click OK. So now I'm ready to start this Lubuntu SS. Now I'm ready to install Lubuntu in this virtual guest. Right click and start. And you know, if you notice, it's similar to Ubuntu install. And you've got two choices here. The first one is try Lubuntu without installing. And we'll pick the second one, install Lubuntu. Gives you IBUS update, super plus spaces, default hotkey. As for the language, I'm just going to choose English. You've got your own. It's pretty much similar to Ubuntu, but with a little bit difference on the screens. Click continue. And I'm going to pick download updates while installing. And I'm going to ask that it install the third party software MP3 plugin. Click continue. Finally, this screen comes up, installation type, and I'm going to choose Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu. You've got some other choices here, encrypt uh, the Ubuntu installation, use the logical volume manager with the new Ubuntu installation. You'll see that Ubuntu is really based on Ubuntu, and then if you want to create partitions yourself here, you've got that option. Install now. Now one thing I've noticed that Ubuntu's install is a uh, little bit slower than Ubuntu's install. So it's going to take a little more time. I'm going to accept the default time. English US and English US. And that's for my keyboard. I'm not going to test it. I'm just going to click on continue. You may have different choices here for depending on where you're at. Continue. Finally, come in here. I notice that the response on the keyboard is a little bit slow right now. Your computer's name, Lubuntu SS. Pick a username, Mike. Choose a password. Again, keyboard response is a little slow. Now it says weak password here. Uh, because I use so many virtual machines, I put in a weak password that I can remember. But if you're going to have uh, other people around this uh, computer, I, I go with a stronger password, one that has number, upper and lower case letter, and a special character like a star. I always require my password to log in. Continue. Now here, it's going to copy files and install, and then you've got a little slideshow here, similar to what the Ubuntu install is. It's, it says Ubuntu is designed to be lightweight, easy, and fast. So let's go through the slideshow. And basically, it says Ubuntu plus LXDE equal Ubuntu. LXDE is a Linux X11 desktop environment. That's what it stands for. I believe. So you've got a lighter desktop and it's not 3D or it's not the Unity environment. With it you get, uh, you still get Firefox and Flash and you can install Chromium if you, if you wish. Instead of LibreOffice it's got Abbey Word and Genie Numeric for the spreadsheet part. Here you've got Audacious and GNOME End Player for music. 
and then you've got a chat and then basically you have the access to the same repository as Ubuntu if you wish to download some additional software and of course we've got wonderful community that comes with it and it says basically installation will finish soon so it's going to take a while in my videos I show all the new screens that come up finally it says installation is complete it's taken about 15 minutes for this installation restart now It says, please remove installation media and close the tray, if any, then press enter. Just press enter because the installation media is set uh, in virtual box Oracle Manager. Log in. And so this is Lubuntu. The next section will involve installing all the updates and virtual guest editions. Got about three things I need to do. One is update it. The, the second is install DKMS so the Linux kernel will play nicely with uh, VirtualBox guest editions. And finally install guest editions. So let's go ahead and do the update. So we go to Software Updater from System Tools. go ahead and uh, install the updates. Of course you have to put in your password. Update to finish installing. Computer needs a restart to finish installing updates. Had a kernel module install. Here Lubuntu has restarted. Log in. Let's go and uh, go to System Tools, and I'm going to use the Xterm and install. Well, there's three terminals Unicode Xterm, Xterm, and Accessories. I'm just going to go to LX Terminal, and I will use that one. sudo apt get install dkms. This allows. Uh, This allows VirtualBox to play nicely with the Linux kernel. Type in Y for... Actually with Lubuntu I found that it requires this module to get uh, VirtualBox guest editions working correctly. So I don't need this anymore. I go up here to Devices, CD Devices, and I'm going to make sure that I'm on Host Drive E double check this and uh, next thing I do is insert guest edition CD image open in file manager okay here it is open in file manager go to tools open current folder as root put in my password click OK up comes another folder and so we're going to do uh, select this VBox Linux editions run double click it here execute so it's done and finally it says to return to close this window hit return we can go ahead and close these so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, log out and reboot key in password again rebooted and here you've got a full screen with virtual guest editions installed it doesn't come up automatically. I always choose Auto Resize Guest Display. And that's pretty much it for 
installing Lubuntu with the LXDE desktop, the same desktop that Raspberry Pi uses. Thank you.